Okay, so this the title of this is Lo Love and Immunity and Immunity in a Time of COVID, but I wanted to borrow this. It's a great book in, in Spanish language literature that actually doesn't have much to do with cholera, but it has to do with um, unrequited love across a, a whole lifetime. So it, if you um, love love stories, uh, it, it, it's a classic. So I'm just borrowing from uh, great literature. Um, a disclaimer, we're gonna talk about immunity. Pharminex and NewSkin and our brand AgeLock are not a pharmaceutical company. We do not claim to diagnose, prevent, treat, mitigate, or cure any disease. All right, be very clear on this. Um, if you use our products and you're, you know, con under physician's care, please consult with the physician, you know, before taking our products. Um, so with that out of the way, um, I'm going to be talking about why, you know, why Pharmanex for me, uh, my story, um, and we're going to talk about various ways to build up immunity. So, and uh, let, let me pause here. COVID. Uh, again, we're not, we have to be very careful. The company is, is quite uh, sensitive about this. And again, we are, we're not claiming to do anything to help with COVID. But here's what's, here's what's happening. Some doctors, MD, VIPs that I talked to are finding that some of their patients who were in the clinical trials and got vaccinated last year are coming down with COVID. They are not getting hospitalized, but it's no fun to be sick. And they can you know, then infect their families, so they're quarantined. Uh, and then you know that disrupts their work if they're supposed to go back to to offices or whatever. Um, and there's always the possibility of long COVID, uh, which is you know brain fog and persistent pain, inflammation. Um, so you know the the immunity lasts for you know a hard immunity. They they tell me is four months. You know maybe six. Uh, Moderna just today announced you know 12, 12 months as a ninety percent down from kind of ninety four percent earlier. But so you know we're feeling our way, and then there are these variants, and you know and then there's different vaccines. So. The, the, the concept that the MDVIPs and they're starting, those of you, you know, who've ever talked to doctors, it's probably time to talk to them again, although they're not a good downline. They can produce volume, but they will never build. Almost, we, Dr. Ben Lowe and a couple of other doctors in Newskin saw the, the business side and built, but most will not. But, you know, some of their patients are finally, finally waking up and saying, okay, maybe I need to worry about my immune system. So how do we, how do we boost it? One, I will talk about age lock, and this is fundamental. We know that uh, obesity is a real bad cofactor with, with, um, with, 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 with everything else. Um, we we'll talk about antioxidant immunity, some of the known immune boosters out there, uh, generically, not our vitamin C, not our D3, and not our zinc. We're not claiming anything but there are studies on, on these, these immune boosters. Um, we'll talk about our reishi and tea green and uh, about gut health, which is the gut is 70% of the immune system is in the gut. We'll talk about an upcoming product. And then just review very quickly, you know, what are the factors in, in healthy longevity? So, you know, my story has already been told, you know, we came for the immunity. So 28 years ago, I was in Hong Kong uh, running money for a company called T. Rowe Price alone with one secretary, $5 billion. And uh, it was a lot of money at the time. I was probably the single biggest you know, fund manager in, uh, in, in, in Southeast Asia. And I couldn't afford to be sick, but I would get a cold and then two weeks later a flu. So Hong Kong is <laughs> you know, ground zero for every pandemic for, uh, for 100 years. You know, swine flu, avian flu, SARS, and now, you know, um, Wuhan is only um, um, 535 miles from Hong Kong. And I was there last December, or December in 2019, and I think I got COVID um, because I lost sense of taste and smell. In June last year, I finally the immune, the antibody tests were out, but we know that antibodies fade. So anyway, that was kind of a bookend because I was, I couldn't afford to be sick and um, I went to the, the Watsons, which is kind of the CVS of, uh, of Hong Kong, and to buy vitamins, as the Brits called them, and there's no there there. I looked at it and said, this is overpriced nothing. And that was when a friend, Amy, um, who's my sponsor and now partner, introduced my wife to the skincare and me to the nutritionals. And I was very impressed. And um, you know, in 28 years, I've had two colds, including, including that one in December 2019. Uh, so we came for the immunity. My wife had some issues when we got married. She had a fibroid tumor. We got married a little bit later in life, age 33. Now, fibroid is a growth in the uterus, um, and it had gotten pretty big by the time we got married. 
and she was going to need a hysterectomy. Um, and so we wouldn't be able to have our own kids. Um, friend recommended a Chinese medicine doctor. I don't know any of, if any of you have tried TCM, traditional Chinese medicine. And he specialized in, in cancers. A fibroid is not a cancer, but it grows. And, and patients who were sent home by hospitals to die, he would, he would you know, very, very, you know, severe um, dietary restrictions um, you know, and heavily, heavy vegetables and maybe some fish and these weird things like uh, like um, locust shells and, and strange stuff. But anyway, there were two green bottles and I said, wait a minute, that's Pharminex. That's, uh, he said, yeah, the, the tea green is pharmaceutical grade green tea. It's used in cancer research in the US. You can look it up. And the reishi, they're the only ones who cold crack pores. I had no idea what he was talking about. I do now. Um, so I wasn't interested in the business. We were loyal customers. My wife worked for Christian Dior. She knows skincare. She was very impressed with the skincare. Um, we weren't interested that much in the business. My sponsor drove the line. She asked me who I knew when we opened in Japan and called me back from Japan and said, your friend ain't, your friend is Mayumi is going to join. So you better, you better join. And, and the fear of missing out, you know, the fear of loss is much more powerful than greed for gain. So I, I engage, but I was a pancake executive for a long time, making enough to pay for my products until 2008 rolled around. I'd sat on my own into the teeth of, you know, pretty bad financial crisis. I don't know what, you know, some of you were doing in 2008 to 2010, but it wasn't fun. We were losing and I'd gone out on my own. We were losing $50,000 a month between the business and a big more mortgage in Hawaii. And um, I couldn't go back to work at any of my, my old firms because they were all firing everyone. Um, and so I engaged in the business we built up in, in Asia. And now, now we're building the U.S. for the first time since the late 80s and early 1990s, the U.S. is growing. And it's really, really exciting. And, you know, we know the reasons, you know, we can talk and I'm sure you guys have discussed the three reasons, the wins at our back and, and the incredible product pipeline that we have now and that is coming. And there's just never been a more exciting time. The, the fun part is it really is, you know, there is a community like this, uh, you know, we are on a mission. When I worked in finance, I was about making richer people richer. And, uh, you know, this is about helping people of all walks of life with the fundamental, you know, first chakra, survival, financial and health. Second chakra is to be more attractive. You know, what, what um, you know, what can, you know, what, what more fundamental help that we can do. What's, what's fun about it is I have friends who teased me about this unmercifully to 20 years ago, they called me Amway Bob. And, uh, you know, it was very disturbing that someone double Ivy League would be doing notions and potions in one of these Ponzi schemes. And, uh, you know, I, I saw through all that. And, you know, time is on our side. So 20 years later, they're, they're watching. Look at my wife on the left. She's, you know, my heart still skips a beat when she walks in the room. She looks, thanks to New Skin and those darn Asian genes, she looks like the, the day we got married. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a Howley or a Guaylo or Farang, and I'm, you know, aging a little bit faster, but, but not too bad. So, our, our, you know, our friends are, you know, are noticing and they're saying, all right, you know, I, I can see, you know, show us what you got. And everyone I know who's working still for the man is working in a job is working twice as hard for half the money i mean the corporate life is just you know continuing those pyramids are grinding people to dust and so there's never been a, a better time um so we're the first thing to do is to really cover age lock as a for immunity if our immune system is strong when we're young you know as we get older it gets less strong so why don't we you know let's turn ourselves younger so this is the foundation around 60 percent of our sales now are age lock products and uh you know i'll just describe it i think you guys all on the call know this so um everyone on this call has the same genes you had when you were nine or 19. you haven't mutated i'm not a martian so what the frick is going on what is this aging thing 2003 Human Genome Project, an NIH team beat a French team by two weeks with supercomputers to decode the human genome. 23,000 gene pairs define who we are in our predilection for disease, you know, eye color, everything. And, but at the time, 80,000 genes were unexplained and they were called junk or garbage DNA. There is no way our creator in her infinite wisdom would have, you know, four fifths of our genetic material being useless vestigial. And so the research since then has been into what these genes do. And they're, they're basically gene switches. 
and, and they, they activate the underlying genes, turning them up uh, or, or down. Everything we eat, drink, smoke, yoga, meditate, love, our love affects gene expression. We, we measure this with Affymetrix gene chips. Put your blood on a chip and we can measure you know, what every gene, whether it's turned on or, or, or down. So when we're nine or 19, you know, the, the, the healthy genes are the ones in red and they're turned on. And then you know, the noxious genes that are not so good uh, are turned down. And then as we age, things go pear-shaped as my English friends in Hong Kong would say, and, and, and just go completely wrong. And what we're able to do is with mostly natural ingredients, turn gene expression younger. Every age lock product gets to around a 92% heat mat match, heat map match with a younger gene expression. This is not your mother's skincare. This is not your mother's nutritional supplements. This is immunotherapy to prevent us from, you know, getting older and, and hopefully to prevent us from getting, getting sick before it happens. Now, immunotherapy is the big field in pharmaceuticals, but it's really about, you know, turning on the immune system when we already have disease. Let's, look, maybe we should, you know, get ahead of that wave is what we think. So our, our number one product, I think most of you are taking it, I hope it's Joe Chang, our chief scientist says, if there's one product you should take for across our product line, it's age lock youth. And it's based on the blue zones of the planet, places where people live young a long time. So Okinawa, Japan, the Mediterranean diet, Peru, you probably haven't been to Peru. Uh, you probably don't eat Peruvian blue corn every day. I have been to Peru and Machu Picchu. It's fabulous. It takes your breath away. You've got to go. And the locals, they're poor at the equator at altitude and their skin is amazing. Um, you know, they, they're not bat bowed over like, like uh, people in the US, they're not, they're not overweight. Um, and so, you know, fish is a common denominator in, in lots of cultures. So we've taken 12 ingredients and, and put them into two capsules twice a day. And it basically turns over 1300, what we call youth gene clusters younger. So, you know, this is going to improve, you know, your immune system and set it to a, to a younger, younger age. So just some examples, this is our, our, our founder at Pharmanex and our chief scientist, Joe Chang. He drinks his own medicine. All of the, the science staff take age lock youth. And um, you can see, you know, he's, he's aged younger over the last, uh, over, over a decade with us. This is my sponsor, Amy, uh, now partner. Um, she's awesome. We met when we were 30 years old in the bubble in the stock market in Japan. And I think she's hotter and prettier you know, 30 years later than, than she was then. Now she's got the advantage, she's got your darn Asian genes, but you know, you, you, you combine that with great gene expression and uh, you get that sort of effect. So the other thing that we're finding with immunity to anything is that obesity is a cofactor and being obese is going to make you vulnerable to cancer, to all kinds of degenerative disease, you know, as, as well as, you know, what, whatever is going around in the Petri dish of, 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 uh, of our life. Um, and most diets fail and 95% and of diets, the, you'll weigh more two years later than, than you did when you started. And 65% of Americans are on a diet at any given time. Most, most medical, medical uh, experts, you know, advise don't diet because when you diet, typically, you'll lose muscle and then you gain back fat in a yo-yo diet. This doesn't work, the, min the rebound is minimal. Uh, it's a program um, that's easy to follow. You won't go hungry. Uh, coaching is really important with it to have an accountability partner. And this, this, this product is what made um, Amy and me millionaires with, with NewSkin and we're, we're together, we're five MCMs going on 10. And uh, this is because uh, it's so visual. I mean, nothing. I mean, people unfortunately they notice when you gain or lose weight. You don't have to sell if you're getting, you know, a healthier body shape. So it's about burning fat and building muscle. But let's go to antioxidants. So that this device is the only uh, device, you know, in in the marketplace that can measure whether your your uh, can measure antioxidant levels. It measures specifically skin carotenoids, which have a very high correlation with your total antioxidant levels. And this is a quote from um, from Dr. Richard Culler at uh, NIH. And um, you know, before you know, for the last year, it's been difficult to meet with people personally and put their hand in the blue light. So it's a blue light in 30 seconds. It, it green shifts at, off your hand and measures your um, your your skin carotenoid score. 
or your antioxidants. So I'm going to be starting to fly again. I'll go to the, the East Coast. There's some MD VIPs that have talked to me about this COVID issue, and they just want to put the scanner in, in their practice to kind of wake up uh, their patients and, and monitor whatever they're doing. So naturopaths, you know, they may not use any of our products at all, but it, it kicks their patient's butt to at least you know follow a better, a better um, nutritional program. So you know, not everyone is interested in this in, in, you know, in America. Five, only 5% 5 of Americans take uh, nutritional supplements on a daily basis. 65% uh, take them, you know, in any time in a given year. Many people, you say, do you want to know your number? This is the nutritional lie detector. Nope. You know, and so there are many people, ignorance is bliss. Hopefully, you know, more and more people are, are knowledge is power. So, you know, this is the issue. Free radicals, there's over 30,000 citations in pubmed.gov, the largest database of health in the history of the human race on the damage that free radicals cause in, in disease states. And free radicals are come from, you know, combustion primarily. So, you know, pollution, you know, the worst is a cigarette, 75 million free radicals in one stick of tobacco, a very efficient delivery system for death. Um, and even our own mitochondria there on the left, the engines of the cell, they'll burn a calorie and oxygen to create energy. ATP is the, is the energy transfer um, that they create. But 5% of all combustion reactions go wrong and, uh, and are busted and create an oxygen radical. And this is an example of it, an oxygen radical, it's missing an electron. So it steals an electron from a neighboring molecule, turning that into a free radical. So it's a chain reaction and something like 75,000 uh, free radical hits to every cell in our body every single day. This is what wears us down. And you know we have um, you know antioxidants, but but they'll be given up. So the best source of antioxidants, which will have an extra electron, and some of them will will repair the genetic damage if it, you know if the damage is hitting the, our DNA, um, is fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, the the recommended uh, servings used to be five to seven. It's now seven to nine. And all of you think, how many servings a day do you have? Because you're not probably not having seven to nine. The Americans average 1.8 servings per day. And in Hawaii, it's around 1.4 because the cost of produce, which mostly has to be brought in, uh, is very high. And the Hawaiians love spam misubi and yakisoba and things that are not particularly healthy. The other thing, if you're dedicated um, um, vegetarian, is that the nutrition in our crops has fallen 90% in the last 100 years. This is from the US Department of Agriculture. Um, it's and, and those of you, by the way, I've already made my slides available to, uh, um, you know, I've sent it on Messenger to, uh, to the organizers of this. You know, it's one team, Newskin, you know, feel free to steal great stuff from, from all of us in, in Newskin, all right? Um, this is kind of a messy slide. I probably should have dropped it, but basically the, the view is that, that, or the message is that Americans are deficient in some really key things. Vitamin D is in 95% of Americans are deficient in vitamin D. Magnesium, it's something like uh, between 50 and 70%. And it, it gets worse as they get older, which is, you know, one reason why we think, you know, some, you know, COVID has been hitting older people harder because they just, you know, they don't have, the nutrients that have been shown to um, to protect against common cold and vitamin D3, there are studies on, on many studies on cancer. So, um, you know, most of us are, you know, do have um, deficiencies and what happens, um, you know, if you're deficient, it, there's a triage that goes on um, and that, you know, supporting say, you know, nervous system function, which is absolutely vital uh, or wound repair, it's, you know, the, the nutrients, if they're required for that, go into that rather than, you know, a long-term um, thing like, like, um, like immunity. So um, most diseases, uh, you know, are really lifestyle diseases. Um, cancer is, has been the, um, you know, the big, the big thing, the, the big C that we, you know, most people are, are scared of. Um, it's not just a nutritional issue, uh, but it's also a lot of lifestyle. So, you know, one thing is we fly, 
or we used to, <laughs> and we'll, we will again. And every three hours at altitude is a full chest X-ray of radiation. So Google flight attendants cancer, and it goes on for pages and pages and pages of studies. And so if you talk to a flight attendant about it, are you worried? Because most of them do get breast cancer if they're female and other cancers if they're male. Um, so, you know, are you worried about flying? And they'll do this because they really don't want the passengers to be agitating for lead lining for, for the aircraft. If you're doing the inner island in Hawaii, you get up to 12,000 feet, it's no problem. But flying across the Pacific you know, to get here, five hours at 36,000 feet, you are in a radiation bath. So supplements should fill the gap. <laughs> they don't. There's over 1,800 brands in North America. It's an unregulated and very chaotic market. And, and less, way less than 10%. We tested in when we when we uh, bought the right the patent to the scanner from the University of Utah, the Moran Eye Institute, where the research was was done originally. Um, we uh, you know we tested something like 500 of the most popular brands, and you know like 90% failed to move the needle on on the scanner. They may make the blind see and the lame walk, but but they don't, and they'll claim that but they don't do anything for antioxidants. And, and this is the attorney general of New York state had an injunction uh, a few years, like six years back against Target, Walmart, Walgreen and GNC that some of their leading herbal supplements had zero of what's on the label. So when you buy through retail or what I call multi-level markup, you know, you're, you're, there's no there there. I mean, you really need to, uh, to go to go to 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 Pharmanex and and New Skin. So that's the scanner. All of the products, and we've uh, winnowed down this product line a little bit. Everything on here is scanner certified, meaning you're guaranteed that your score for antioxidants, as we measure it, goes up in two months, or you're, or it's free. And as a result of the clinical trials that we've done of safety and efficacy, and we pay for the entry like every other drug company, we're the only supplement company, natural supplement company in the physician's desk reference, which is the Bible of US drugs. So when I talk to an MD, I just say, we're in the, we're in the PDR. And you know, that's usually enough. And then we, then we demonstrate the, the scanner. So we've listened to the marketplace coming soon. I couldn't find a graphic that didn't have coming soon. I could have edited this out, it's, it's now. And we listen to the marketplace and a lot of the people don't wanna take capsules and they want, it's gotta be vegan, you know, it's gotta be plant-based. Um, high absorption is still important, it has to be affordable. And so these are um, drinkable or dissolving lozenges uh, that the life pack elements in the center is $49 versus $70 for the, the cheapest life pack. One sachet uh, a day, it's not as complete as life pack, but it, it, it gets you there. So vitamin D3 is, you know, pretty well known as, um, as an immune booster, zinc and vitamin C. In when COVID first hit, uh, the health food stores sold out almost immediately of vitamin D and zinc. And the only way you could get those were in eye formula, which um, the, you know, people didn't realize that eye formula has, that eye formulas have this in there. So vitamin D, our vitamin D3, it's um, $15. It's incredibly affordable. I don't, I don't know if we've had a price increase because a lot, a, lot a lot of things have uh, jumped up in the last price increase. As I said, 95% um, of Americans are deficient. Our source most vitamin D is from lanolin, which is sheep's wool. <laughs> so hardly vegan. I'm not sure I want to like eat ground up sheep's wool, but um, this is from shiitake mushrooms, which is a much better source for absorption. Um, our vitamin C and zinc is uh, again, very, very high absorption uh, vegan sources and uh, quite, quite delicious. And, you know, I know some people who they, they, they eat these things like candy, which is okay. You can't, you can't overdose. And, you know, we've known this in cold and flu season, something like airborne, which is made a teacher, you know, a multi gazillionaire. Uh, it's really just fizzy vitamin C <laughs> and overpriced at that. Um, I'm going to turn to two of our, um, our really kind of more serious uh, immune boosters. So green tea is the Japanese paradox. <laughs> they smoke like chimneys. They don't get lung cancer much. And they drink like fish, and they don't get terribly obese. Um, and, this, and it's green tea. Now, we take out all the caffeine of, uh, of green tea, and we leave the the catechins, uh, which is the plant-based um, uh, phytonutrients or um, 
or uh, carotenoids, it's called catechins in tea. It's the thin edge of the baby leaf is where they all are. And we're the only one who understands that. If you buy green tea from other providers, you may be getting ground up twigs and seeds. Uh, it has other benefits. It lowers the blood sugar, um, but it does raise antioxidant immunity, can, can do DNA repair, you know, all sorts of benefits. There's, a, there's an element in it called theanine, which calms us. Tea is a fabulous social drug. So if you have it with caffeine, it wakes you up, but the theanine calms you. So you actually, you know, can talk for, you know, for, for hours. That's why it's a, you know, a social drink. But you, if you want your caffeine, you can get that from Starbucks or whatever. We, we take out the caffeine. Uh, it's 97% green tea. You know, our competitors are, are, you know, 50 to 60%. It's seven cups of green tea in a, in a capsule. And we recommend for things like cancer, you know, a four times uh, do dosage of this, so something like, you know, almost 30 cups of green tea, which would be a lot of caffeine. Green tea has almost as much caffeine as a, as a cup of coffee. Uh, we talked about some of the benefits before. I, we'll talk about angiogenesis in the middle. So in cancer, in cancer uh, tricks the body to, to grow the capillaries toward it. Everyone on this call has cancer, everyone. Maybe 200 tumors are in your body right now saying, feed me, feed me. And they're trying to trick the blood to grow toward it. So there are things like sugars and nitrites and processed meats that uh, really uh, you know, accentuate the feeding of the cancer. And there's a whole bunch of, of um, natural foods that cause the blood to shrink away from the cancer. And we'll, I'll show you a, a graphic of this. Uh, in a minute. So we combine this with a uh, reishi mushroom. This is one of the two most famous traditional Chinese medicines along with cordyceps, which is in our vitality and R squared. And um, we are the only one who cold cracks the spores of the mushroom. Uh, most companies they'll use the meat, uh, they heat crack the spores, which destroys the medicine. And this is, you know, taking me back 28 years when Uryu Sensei, you know, told, told me about this. It's expensive. You have to put it in a vacuum. You basically, you know, you drop the temperature. It's almost like putting them, the mushroom, the spores in outer space. Um, and the benefits of reishi is it upregulates a weak immune system. So, it, uh, you know, we can't say we cure, you know, mitigate or prevent cancer by any means, but I'll show you, you know, a poster of the, the research that we did with um, this and a combination of, of, of green tea. It also will downregulate an overactive immune system. A lot of people are, are having issues with, um, um, with, with, um, with overactive immune systems and uh, you know rheumatoid arthritis. I've had friends you know go on this, and three days later, you know their their claws are are, are now um, you know uh, are much better. So you know it is for there's a lot of autoimmune um, um, conditions right now. Um, so together they really are you know uh, they're kind of a one-two punch. One really attacks can attack the cancer and the other cause starves the cancer. So this is a poster from a, a cancer uh, study. Um, you can look this up, you can find this on images.google.com or it's in the, in the, um, the, um, the deck, which I've, I've sent out. So, you know, the, this is really busy, but basically, if you look in the, the summary and the conclusion in the bottom right, now this was research. We've done research in petri dishes, and we've done research in mice. And many times, you have research in mice, and it doesn't translate to humans. But um, you know, in in Hawaii, we're known as the cancer couple, and um, and in Hawaii, people are not that interested in their own health, but they'll spend anything on their dogs. <laughs> and that's true of a lot of Americans and dogs, particularly purebreds, will get cancer. And we have friends whose dogs were given, you know, um, you know, three months to live, and three years later, you know, little um, Bowser is, you know, bounding around and and uh, messing up their garden. So, this is a list from the Angiogenesis Foundation. There was a great TED talk by Dr. William Lee on things in our diet, which cause the blood to shrink away from cancers. This is like a, an Asian smorgasbord and, of, um, and, and Mediterranean smorgasbord of delicious ingredients. So you can eat healthy, you know, we're about this. We're not just about selling products, but about, you know, you know to, uh, to, total health. So um, I'm gonna move to the gut now. 70% um, of immunity seems to be in the gut. 
And there is a category called probiotics. And we have one which has the largest, um, first of all, our bacillus, our bacteria is live and many, many cell dead, dead bacteria, which are useless. Um, it's a patent pendant strain. Uh, it's isolated. We found this Swedish woman who had this amazing immune system and we've stolen her uh, bacillus and that's what so we're all you know channeling this our inner suite uh, our inner swede when we take this um it does survive the, the, the problem with a lot taking a lot of things is they don't survive the havoc of the digestive system that this does and um you know it, gut health has been been proven to uh to improve immunity we also have a children's formula these are three of our new uh children's formula the center is just a a um broad-based uh, multivitamin. The, the right is something for brain, brain development. But on the left, it's actually four probiotic strains. Um, and it, you know, it's important for kids that not necessarily all American children eat, eat that well. It's, you know, kids love the, the flavors. There's, there's almost no calories in it. Um, you know, again, vegan, vegan sources. We're coming, uh, Joe Chang in an in a interview with, uh, um, Diana Rader Zisselman last week in the OTG, OTG uh, monthly science call talked about two of the upcoming products, the liquid collagen called Collagen Plus uh, and something called Meta. And he didn't give a lot of details, but it would be two capsules in the nighttime. And it seems to raise the metabolism to lose weight. And it does improve immune response, um, again, you know, by, by strengthening the gut. And according to him, it does does help to de-stress. I mean, not just with COVID, but you know, most of us have just found, you know, I don't know many people who are completely chill and relaxed. Almost everyone suffers from stress. And there is a connection between the gut and stress. And this is, um, you know, the, the, they really are connected. The vagus nerve goes directly from the brain, you know, to the gut. And, um, you know, the, we're, we're finding all sorts of connections um, between between a, a healthy gut and um, you know a healthy brain, so you know Joe was he didn't talk much about this. He spent more time on the collagen plus, which we think is going to be the, you know the biggest launch in the, the history of Muskin North America. Um, so these are the factors just to kind of wind up. These are the factors that that we know that improve you know a healthy longevity. I mean nobody gets out of here alive, right? <laughs> nobody gets out of here alive. The whole, the whole point, I think, with our company is that the last 20 years and, and the last 60 years of your life should be as healthy uh, as possible. And if you're you know, working the business side, that you have a, a business that you own and doesn't own you and creates, creates a lifestyle of type five, as, as my upline Philip Chung uh, calls it. So you know, these are the things that we've, we, we know improve um, your health. One is sleep. And getting enough sleep, and particularly, you know, in the TR90 program, I advise people to get to sleep. Um, 80% of all muscle production happens between the hours of 9 p.m. and midnight. And if you're not asleep, you know, by about 10 p.m., 10:30 at the latest, you're gonna, you're not gonna really build much muscle if you're on TR90. So, and it's just been proven that, you know. In ancient times, we'd go to sleep when it was when it was nighttime, and we'd wake up to to milk the cows or whatever. And that that the sleep cycle of of early to bed, early to rise, you know, does does work. Um, you know, next is nutrition and including uh, our supplements. So it's you know what we eat. That whole uh, Dr. William Lee's you know smorgasbord is, is important. Um, having you know high protein and vegetables and low carbs in the TR90 system. Um, that that's the next most important exercise is is quite important um, you know use it or lose it um, it has all sorts of benefits from the brain and stress endorphins um, you know the natural painkillers and mood alters and just you know having a healthy healthy body um, it has been shown to really you know improve immune response and, and everything in your life um, and you know the next to most important is actually having love in our life and connections. And you guys with your um, Himalaya group, you're creating those connections, you know. Um, and, you know, we, we, I think this is one of the, the secret benefits of a great network marketing company like Muskin is that we are one family Muskin and we, we support each other. But, 
you know, it, it's just been shown that people who are older, who are isolated, and this has been one of the issues with the pandemic, uh, is that people are isolated and they're getting depressed and um, sometimes a bit psychotic. You know, and there's all sorts of every, you know, everything is a conspiracy theory and people are home alone, spending too much time on Facebook and, you know, getting pretty disconnected and discombobulated. The last thing that is actually the most important factor in health is finances, unfortunately. So it is, it just goes through all of the data that people who have, you know, um, more money are going to be healthier. They have, they have the money to spend on checkups, on, on, you know, trips to the doctor. If you don't, um, you know, you're going to let conditions go. Um, they tend to eat healthier. And so, you know, our number one product, you know, we always say is, is our business opportunity. Only 10% will, will pursue it, maybe 12% overall. Historically, it's going up. And in the end, only two to 3% will really stick with it and, and make, make it, um, you know, a, a life-changing thing. But, you know, even if, if people are just doing the Facebook model and, you know, selling tubes of toothpaste, having an extra $300 a month uh, can, can be life-changing for, for a family. So, you know, this we do provide as much as possible, you know, along this spectrum. So I, I always like to end with our mission statement. And those of you who want to read it with me, it's just, this is, you know, a company on various missions to be a force for good throughout the world by empowering people to improve lives with rewarding business opportunities, innovative products, and an enriching and uplifting culture. And thank you to all of you in the Himalaya group for really making it an enriching and uplifting culture. So thank, thanks to you all. And I will bring this down.